Right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Long Island MacArthur Airport. Um, thank you for the, all those Atlanta passengers who are uh, joining us in the boarding area today. We're really excited because we're celebrating your flight. Um, there are about 180 some passengers on this, this flight going out to Atlanta today. Um, so we're excited that you're joining us. Of course, we have a lot of uh, VIP guests here in, in the room with us, uh, supporters of Long Island MacArthur Airport, the town of Islip, and of course, Long Island and economic development. Uh, we are pleased that Frontier Airlines has joined us today uh, to celebrate this milestone event at Long Island MacArthur. Um, before we get started, we're going to uh, uh, please allow us to introduce some of our elected officials and special guests. So I'm going to start on my right, far right here. Um, my partner here at the airport is uh, Deputy Commissioner Robert Schneider, and he is uh, really instrumental in helping us with air service development. So uh, part of the reason that Frontier is here is because Rob is here helping us, right? Um, so thank you very much, we appreciate that. I also have John Cochran, who is a Town of Islip board member. He's been a board member for many years and a strong supporter of the airport. We appreciate his help. Um, I also have Angie Carpenter, uh, who is the Town of Islip supervisor. So this is Angie's airport, and uh, we're so happy <laughs> that she has an incredible vision to develop this airport and keep it moving in the right direction and keep us moving forward. Um, to my left is Senator, New York State Senator Monica Martinez. Um, she's new to the Senate, but not new to Long Island, <laughs> and we're so happy that she could join us here today. Um, I also have a special guest who is um, the Senior Vice President of Commercial for Frontier Airlines, Daniel Schurz. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you. This is not Daniel's first time to Long Island either, so we're glad that he came out and returned to today uh, to celebrate. So, and I have Deb Profeta, who is the regional manager for Frontier Airlines, and she has a long history here at Long Island MacArthur Airport, but we're so happy to have her with us as well. So let's get started with program. So when an airline headquartered in Denver with photos of animals on the tails of its airplanes first started service in Long Island MacArthur Airport, it was August of 2017. And that first flight was nonstop service to Orlando. Um, today, less than two years later, they're serving several destinations, of course, Atlanta being one of them. Um, but they have flights to Orlando, Tampa, Fort Myers, Fort Lauderdale, uh, West Palm Beach, Myrtle Beach, Atlanta, of course, and new service that they just started recently to Raleigh-Durham. So we're so happy that they're providing service to all those nonstop destinations because it's what Long Islanders have been asking for for a very long time. While Frontier was new to our community, we quickly discovered that they were a perfect match not only for the airport but for all of Long Island. They recognize that we have convenience that we offer our customers. Hopefully all of you sitting in the boarding area had a short walk to the terminal um, and had a really enjoyable, easy, uh, I, I always say we have a, a representative here, here from uh, TSA, but that you had efficient security lines here at the airport, um, not like our other New York City competitors, of course, <laughs> so call them out. <laughs> um, anyway, so our community, of course, is so focused on the airport, so supportive of our, of our airport, and we truly do appreciate that. Um, we have a very strong leadership here at the airport. Uh, we recognize that we have a fiscal responsibility to help the airlines to be profitable and to help operate like a business and uh, to help the airport operate like a business. So um, they recognize, Frontier really recognizes how we have helped them with operational efficiencies. They are superior and do this quite well as an airline. So in turn, what it does is uh, Frontier is able to offer customers new destinations, new travel choices, and low, low fares, right? So um, hopefully everybody has taken advantage of that today. So without um, further delay, I'd like to turn the microphone over to our town supervisor, Angie Carpenter. Like I said, she is a true inno innovator. She is a visionary for this airport, and we're so happy to have her with us. Please welcome Angie Carpenter. Thank you so much, Shelley. Um, you know, Shelley was mentioning the fact that uh, there are a lot of dignitaries and supporters here of the airport, and uh, I want to say that without everyone pulling together, the airport is not going to thrive, and it certainly has the opportunity to do so and provide opportunities for the public to 
visit, whether it's for business or, or leisure travel, but to do it in a, a very comforting, pleasant experience. And we know that the customer experience here at Islip uh, MacArthur Airport is unparalleled. I, I say that unabashedly because you're not getting the uh, surly TSA agents pushing you through a line. Uh, they're friendly, they're caring, and we're very, very grateful for that. And likewise, the town owns the airport, and that's kind of unique too. Um, and our town leadership team, the commissioners, are all very intimately involved, uh, intimately involved with the airport, are there to help out at every turn, whether, uh, whatever the need, they're there. Um, and we have our uh, airport advisory board. We've got leaders from the business community, from the LIA, from the Long Island Association. We've representatives from the federal courts here today, uh, users of the airport, Northwell, the largest employer in the state of New York, the CEO of Southside Hospital, sits on our airport advisory board. Don is here this morning. Uh, so the, the support is far reaching and it is so very, very important. Um, I want to also commend Shelley. Uh, she recently was featured in an aviation press magazine. Uh, and if you haven't seen the article, please check it out on flymacarthur.com. It features the benefits of smaller metro airports and the advantage they bring to airlines such as Frontier. And Dan and his incredible team have seen that. They've had the vision to know that Frontier would be successful here. Um, and we're looking forward to the years ahead as they grow as an airline, one of the leaders in the industry uh, are expanding their flight. We're looking at that partnership to grow here at the airport. Um, when they first had their first flight here nearly two years ago, we had a water cannon salute. And it was a beautiful blue sky, Long Island day, much like today. Um, and the fire rescue crews gave them a warm welcome as did our Long Island customers. I also remember the feeling of excitement and anticipation from the entire community, um, the airport had been experiencing a bit of a, a lull, and we needed that that uh, just push to uh, let us know what the opportunities were and to seize on those opportunities. And uh, we've had, as I said, many, many partners, uh, and we're very, very grateful for that, and we're grateful for what the airport does to the region. It brings jobs to the region. And uh, Frontier is also helping us bring visitors to Long Island. Uh, we're seeing increases in an opportunity uh, for economic growth. I was talking to a couple who were visiting here, former Long Islanders, but uh, moved away 20 some odd years ago and are here visiting family. And they're heading home to, to Atlanta. So uh, if it wasn't for the vision of Frontier, creating that nonstop destination from Islip, it wouldn't be that easy for them and for so many other people who are going back and forth. So please uh, give me uh, your attention uh, to, and I, and I really have the honor of introducing one of Frontier's longtime top-ranking leaders, who, by the way, flew here from um, Denver to be here this morning. Uh, he has been a true friend to Long Island MacArthur Airport. Daniel Schurz has been involved with strategy and partnerships, marketing, e-commerce, and network planning for over 10 years. Please join me in giving a good, hearty welcome to Dan Schurz. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you, thank you, Angie. I think I think I may have been oversold just there, but uh, it's a great ple it's a great pleasure to be here. It's a great pleasure to be it's a great pleasure to be to be part of this 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 partnership with the airport. Uh, we have a we have a great working relationship, and one of the advantages uh, I'll I'll, I'll, give, I'll give away one part of what I suspect is in the article, which unfortunately I haven't read, but one of the advantages of small airports is a much is a much more aligned approach with the between the airport between the airport and the airline in terms of what's in terms of what's possible. Um, we are here to celebrate a milestone for Frontier today. Um, we started 20, 22 and a half months ago uh, with just one destination in Orlando. And as, as Shelley mentioned, we now fly to eight, eight non-stop destinations from Islip. Um, and <clears throat> we're, also, we're, also, we're, also we're also excited to see how many customers are taking advantage of this. If you, if you know people who don't know how great this airport is, go away and tell, go away, tell, tell, them, tell them how great it is, um, because there's, there's a lot more people who could be taking advantage of this airport. We, we certainly know that. Um, 
we also we also we also have incredibly low fares, and our, our low fares make travel more affordable and accessible. It's allowing more people to fly who weren't flying before. It's allowing a lot of you, I'm sure, hopefully some of you, to fly more often. Uh, and we're we're certainly very we're certainly very excited to help families go on go on go on holiday together. Um, we introduced a program in January this year called Kids Fly Free. So if you're a member of our Discount Down Travel Club, you can buy an adult ticket and you can take a child totally for free. No taxes, no fees. Buy one ticket, get a second, get a second ticket, get a second ticket free. Um, it's a good example of how we try and provide the best value in the industry, no matter where we fly, and, and particularly in an airport like this, where there are a relatively small number of airlines, we, we, we can offer products that stand out and add additional, add additional value. Um, we're also we're also proud of our we're also proud of our proud of our commitment to the environment. Uh, well, one thing I want you all to know today, we're just starting to we're just starting to publicize this. Um, we, ha we, we operate the most fuel-efficient fleet in the United States, um, and we are, we are America's most fuel-efficient, and therefore we think greenest airline. Um, a, a, front a frontier airplane, a frontier airplane uh, is on a frontier airplane seat travels th travels 39 percent further on a gallon of on a gallon of fuel than the average for the U.S. industry. That's that's 39 percent more fuel efficient. That's 39 percent less common carbon dioxide emissions for the for the same for the same travel distance. This is a significant significant focus of the company. We are we have we have been taking delivery rapidly of, our, of the of the more fuel efficient A320 Neo aircraft, and we have we have almost 200 airplanes on order, all of them with these more efficient engines. And finally, the actual reason we're here um, today marks Frontier's one millionth customer to fly through the airport. In 22 and a half months, we have carried one million passengers to and from to and from Islip, and we're very excited to reach to reach this to reach this milestone. Uh, it, it's exciting! It's exciting how many people have been able to take advantage of, of Frontier service from the airport. Uh, and we'd like and, and we'd like and I'd like to, to celebrate to celebrate this in particular. I'd like to call a call a customer up to the, up to the podium, Eugene Dunkley. If you could, if you if you're in the gate area, could you come up to the podium, please? You are you are our one. You are our one. <laughs> And for everyone else on the flight to Atlanta today, um, we have a we have a we have a gift for all of you as you board the airplane as well. So thank you, thank you for choosing to fly with Frontier. Um, uh, yeah, your, your, your aircraft will be on the ground in about 50, in about 15 minutes. Uh, and we and I certainly I certainly on behalf of all of us at Frontier hope you have a great flight today. Thank you so much, Daniel. Shelley, did you have any closing remarks? Uh, just, just a few housekeeping items. So um, congratulations to Eugene and his family for flying on Frontier today and being our millionth passenger here at the airport uh, on Frontier Airlines. We really appreciate your continued um, use of the airport. And um, hopefully, you'll come back and visit us again. So thank you again. We really appreciate it.